What I know is that love heals, period. Knowing the experiences I want to have is the greatest form of clarity I've ever received. Our bodies are the greatest instrument in, or tuning fork in us finding our way to resolution. I was robbed, or I thought I was robbed of my spontaneity, of my uh, flexibility in my life, my outgoingness, my um, willingness to do all kinds of adventures and everything. And I had to slow down and create a new relationship with myself if I was ever going to do those things again. And for me, I no longer judged what was happening to me. I am in complete allowance and remember every day that this is my teacher. I'll never forget being in the gastroenterologist's office and on the bathroom door, when you're in the bathroom, what's on the door? What are you doing while you're waiting for your next flare? Like, what kind of messaging is that? Hello, let's be fearful while you're just waiting till your next episode. You're given a label and then you're that thing. And then people identify with that. They become that thing. Like, I did it myself. I became that debilitating gastrointestinal problem. It was my excuse to not engage in my life anymore. And when I woke up, I told myself, I don't care, I will live my life and I will figure it out. My journey has led me where I I don't have that same conversation in my head anymore. Even when I'm upset or worried or freaked out or scared or sad or fearful, it's, they're there, it's okay, we're gonna be okay. What is my favorite thing to help people see is to look at themselves with new eyes. And sometimes it's the most difficult thing they'll ever do is to be able to look at themselves in the mirror and see, to really see who they are. Our capacity to transform our lives actually does exist within our own hearts. And I know from my own experience that sensation in the body and being willing to get there and hold that and ask questions of it is what starts to transform our communication with self. I'm here to help others find their aliveness and to create experiences where they can be heard and seen and held and reminded that there is other possibility in what they're experiencing. There isn't a single part of them that is wrong. There isn't a single part of them that I won't witness with unconditional love. I share all of this because I have been on my own journey. And I discovered through my own experience of autoimmunity that until I was willing to love myself 
and stop hating all the wrong, the wrongness of me. My body was not going to shift, and it was, it has, it has been, and at the beginning was one of the greatest gifts I was ever given. Diagnoses like cancer gets most people's attention. But what if wherever the cancer is showing up is showing us where we have locked, unexpressed versions of ourselves in our tissues? What if our sovereignty comes from allowing ourselves to be fully expressed? I know how hard that is to be willing to see yourself and that's why at first you get to allow others to see you and vibrancy aliveness vitality comes from falling in love actually with your life and if you're not in love with your life right now your body and your soul is asking you to pay attention Radical acceptance doesn't necessarily mean I just accept what's going on. So I don't have to accept that I'm sick and then, or unhappy or stressed. I can notice how I feel from those things, acknowledge that, accept that I feel a certain way, and then decide what inspired action needs to happen in order to have that shift. It's a very different view of acceptance than accept what is. What we have to accept is our how we feel about it or how our body is showing us the response of how we feel about it. Everything is within us. Our soul knows exactly what it's doing. What if everything is divine? What if everything is waiting for you to open your eyes?